This is Yusuf Alta here. Um, and again, I guess part two of weird shit. Uh, one of the many things I've come across in my life that is just strange. And I'll share it with you. The lead masks case. In Portuguese, it's... And if I pronounce anything that's in Portuguese, I'm going to pronounce it like it's in Spanish. So, um, not wanting to piss off any Brazilians with Portuguese or East Timorian people. I guess they're the only three groups that speak it. If there's somebody else out there that speaks it, forgive me. Um, maybe Canary Island people, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll butcher it, so. Um, the lead mask case, again, drawing from Wikipedia. Because uh, it's short and concise, and I'll have to look into other stuff. And it pretty much agrees with the stories that I've heard um, about these two things. Well, there'll be more. Uh, the Lead Masks case was given the name, it was the name given to the events which led to the death of two Brazilian electronic technicians. I'm guessing the names Manuel uh, Perrier, I don't know, some, um, Manuel de, uh, de Cruz and Miguel Jose Viena, I don't know. Again, I'm pronouncing it in English, but if it were in Spanish, it would probably be just as uh, butchered. Less butchered. English butchers everything. Even my last name. Um, their bodies were discovered on August 20th, 1966. On the afternoon of August 20th, 1966, a young man was flying a kite on Moro de Vin... looks like Vietnam. Vintem... Vintem Hill, okay. Yeah, Moro, okay. Moro do Vintem, I don't know. It's near Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. When he came upon the bodies of two deceased males and he reported it to the authorities, um, the, um, the hill had been difficult terrain and the police were unable to reach the bodies until the next day when a small team of police and firefighters arrived on the scene. They had noted the bodies' odd conditions. Um, the two males were lying next to each other, slightly covered in grass. Each wore a formal suit, a lead eye mask, and weather and weather and sorry, and a waterproof coat there were no signs of trauma no evidence of the struggle in the surrounding area next to the bodies was found an empty bottle of water a, a packet containing two wet towels and a small notebook was also identified which contained the quote which in english translates 4 30 p.m be at the agreed place 6 30 p.m swallow the capsules after effect, pr uh, protect metals. Wait for the mask signal. The two men were identified as uh, Manuel and Miguel, two electronic technicians from Campos de uh, Goi Tecasis. I, I don't know. Maybe the Brazilians pronounce the Z as a Z. A town several miles northeast of Rio de Janeiro. Reconstruction. After the investigation, two detectives reconstructed a plausible narrative of the last days of both men. On August 17th, they left their city, Campos, and the stated intent on being that they needed to purchase some materials for work. The two men then boarded a bus to uh, Neater to end town let's just call it, <laughs> and arrived there at 2.30 p.m. Evidence shows that the waterproof coats were purchased, I thought it said boots up top, but maybe uh, waterproof coats were purchased at a shop there and one bottle of water from a bar. Upon being interviewed, the waitress from the bar described Miguel as very nervous and noticed that he frequently checked his watch. 
the last time they were seen alive <coughs> that was the last time they were seen alive it is presumed that they went directly from the bar to the spot which they were discovered it had been noted that the area had been a case they noted that the area was a setting of several local ufo sightings uh, conclusion of the case no obvious injuries were discovered on the scene nor the later autopsy um, it didn't discover any toxic substances um, so this is weird um, but it, well, it says the as the coroner's office was very busy at the time so the autopsy was finally conducted the internal organs of the two victims were too badly decomposed for reliable testing yeah, but you'd still get toxic stuff out of there. I don't know how but how well tox screening was back in the late 60s, but still very, very strange. Um, plus, if it was anything bad, you would be able to... Well, again, they're in the jungle, but uh, you'd be able to see it. You know, like strychnine, you know, something like that. But very odd. So that's weird shit. Number two, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what order I'm going to upload these. Alright, take it easy.